Hello, dears. Hi, guys. The bounce is back. How are you? As y'all usual. Doing. FK copied my outfit again. Oh, bloody hell. I'm not wearing nearly the same yeah, thing when as you. Let me tell you something. Jola is obsessed with me. That's number one. <laughs> so once you get that, yeah, something everything gone, else makes sense. sense, right? I tell you not to wear a jumpsuit today. It's not predictable. And I'm so happy that Bolo is wearing a jumpsuit because I, I, I felt pained. Hey. Well, Bolo and I about the same. lack of it's the same color palette. I was going to say. Thank you. Yeah. Well, this is because like an off. No, if you look at it this way, <laughs> it's, it's like, creative. excuse me, it's like it's a, a gradient. gradient. Yeah. It's a gradient. You see? So that's we still ended up in the same That's bloody creative. <laughs> Bola and her hair is family. more similar in color than yours. We that doesn't mean braids. anything. It does. It, it does. does. At the end of the day. Basically, guys, we look like a girl group. Yeah. <laughs> it's like okay. a band. Um, it's a band. Like, who used, to, who used to do things like this? Destiny's Child. Destiny's Child. House of Darion. Although Kelly got the best fits. Yeah. 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 Also, Michelle. Michelle got the church girl. Yeah, yeah you could tell like they Yikes. were like, they'd made an outfit and Michelle was Michelle like, was always in a long skirt. Let's, yeah. Let's <laughs> Holy Spirit <laughs> this up. <laughs> Just two inches for Beyonce Jesus. Beyonce was always a bit sexier. Yeah. You know? She yeah. had to like get the From attention. The jump. Yeah. So, yeah. This is like really random, but since we're on the tangent of girl groups, do you guys remember that Lori Harvey like holiday where there was like With all Ryan these different With Ryan and what's yeah. her name? Normani. Yeah. Listen. And Normani, there was this picture, right? And everyone is really relaxed and you see Normani giving you like angles you, yes yeah. because you know when you're in a girl group you have to stand out yeah. so everyone is like super real like, and no money literally stands out because the I'm sure they were like training. I'm sure they were like posed and she was like <sighs> and everybody just like try, and she literally looks like they're in the same line but she's st- like your eyes go to her first and you're yeah. like this is a big girl group. I really she love to, she that she had to fight for yeah. the attention I love that selfie that, that they took it was so funny Deep. Bull is also like one of my favorite Twitter people I mean just, likewise yeah. I mean guys come like, on like I always think that come like on. if I had to turn on my notes she has for like 10 for people she has yeah, to make she has the cut no, I don't feel this no, grand she has this to. right here this trifecta of she Twitter has royalty to right so here sometimes I'm, just, us, I'm just like wow <laughs> <laughs> this is a great she has mind. calmed down now no she has I have she's on a big down. mountain she has yeah. because you know, like, I can't be she's now she's a sophist she's an author <laughs> yeah she's an author do you know what I mean I can't when you're an author you can't just be moving mad yeah all my like shady stuff just got my Instagram 2013 bully no no it was it was reckless those tweets have gone now I have a question for you guys because I have a similar thing not as intense but like I feel like when I tweet loads of political stuff sometimes right and I get loads of followers from that and then I get freaked out because that's not me normally yeah. and I'm like do you guys expect this from me every day I want to warn day? them that um it's hello pressure. exactly this, this is, is not going to be not. the case you're going to be very disappointed I'm so Deep sorry so. like I tweeted something yesterday and someone was like oh haha you've changed and I thought lol <laughs> look at you hello welcome to this but you're little. <laughs> so, so Bolo, do you want to tell us a little bit about your career before being like a full time author now? Like yeah. whenever I talk to Bolo, I'm like, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just doing edits. She's an author. <laughs> yeah, she's you an have author. to say it like yeah. that. So she's an author. Author. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what was I doing before I was a full time author? I was uh, working at the BBC as a writing assistant. Then I was a producer, and then I was also doing culture journalism on the side. So Sorry, what is up. okay? For the uninitiated, uninitiated, like myself, yes. I'm too cool to be a creative, actually. Um, but that's another story for another day. You guys can't handle it. Okay. You don't have to look at me like that. I'm, I'm right. <laughs> so writing assistance, you know, culture journalism, explain to the people. Sure. So I was actually in BBC Comedy. I was a writing assistant in a writer's room for a sketch show. Yeah. Writing assistant is basically you're in the room with the writers. You're sometimes conscious. It's kind of like you're an assistant, right? So yeah. you're kind of trainee. So you're not yeah. a writer yet, but you're in mm. the room to experience and also assist them, yeah. literally assist them. If you're typing up the notes, sometimes if you have a very good head of the room they'll let you contribute so you get very yeah. excited where you get to like like Bolly what do you think and I get very <laughs> excited and the thing is you it's like it's kind of like a wolf pack because mm. I was in a writer's room with all males and wow. it was like and I was the youngest and the only female only woman and um yeah, it was an experience. It's kind of like you're thrown into like the jungle and it's mm. just kind of dog eat dog and you have to be the funniest. And wow. everyone's trying to out funny each other. Mm. I've always wondered about writing full time. Okay. <laughs> you see that I've never asked you. Yeah, we can this. talk about that. Who is we? As a writer. Who are you? As a writer. As a writer, yeah. Uh, so no, she's <laughs> yes, an author. Yes. You are a writer. <laughs> writer she's an author. Did you guess? <laughs> We're a bit diff- <laughs> bit diffy. Yeah. Bit diffy. I'm your agent, for example. <laughs> Did you guess? So at the end of the day if you're writing full-time so how does it work because people just assume 
So if you're writing a book, obviously, I assume, well, it depends on if you're like publishing by yourself or if somebody has given you advance or whatever, but otherwise, how are you getting kind of writing gigs or are you just creating your own content and seeing where that goes? Like how does, okay, I'm jumping into writing full time. I got signed. um, So that means I already like, I was very, very fortunate. Yeah. So as soon as I got signed, I already had like somebody interested in short Netflix and chill, which oh, wow. eventually I decided I didn't want to do anyway. But so then I got a bunch of money for that. Yeah. Just to just to even think about developing, I got a bunch of money for that and workshopping that idea. Mm-hmm. And then right <laughs> <laughs> There's different My day you are scribbling. No, 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 no. I'm jotting things down. Um, I'm thinking things through. <laughs> Because it's your idea And so You know It's worth something It's Mm. worth It's intellectual property Mm. And then um, And then I started discussing An idea that I'm currently Working on right now So this shows you How long the process is Like for TV Um, I started workshopping That idea And again That was a bunch of money And then also I was doing cultural journalism On the side So freelancing yeah. for magazines and then even then because to, to even make ends meet and stuff like that and to actually earn my own money I was like temping as well yeah. because you just have to do what you got to do mm. um but eventually uh you know Love and Color came and stuff like that but before that it was just culture journalism and, oh, wow. and stuff yeah and my sh- my show which yeah. girl I did right too so I'm not seeing my tweets I can give them one or two short stories <laughs> let somebody me. give me money to think it through I'm it won't come you. out it won't come out <laughs> But to know you always have not always, but for a while now, you've called yourself a rom commissar. Yeah, yeah. So what everyone does that says mean? that now I feel the pressure to be this. And I'm just like, oh, did <laughs> I just? Well, you wasn't one of those things you just said like the ago. one time. Like and now ago. everyone keeps quoting. Yeah, it was like before my book was out, whatever. I was just being, I was just being me, and then everyone's like, this is you now. Uh, I just love rom coms, and I feel like I have like a rom-com kind of for every mood I can suggest mm. um, I just love them they're like the main media that I consume like I was watching a series the other day and I was just getting bored because I was like why is there like no spark between the main characters why are they taking so long to kiss why am I here <laughs> why are you wasting my time um, yeah. so yeah I just love rom-coms yeah, they're the, just so the fun the late 90s and early 2000s had oh, beautiful gosh that rom-coms. was the highest yeah. I've given up on pretending to be a hard babe <laughs> do you know what I mean, I'm not. Oh, you see, welcome. let me tell you, my, my position, me, I love love. I die for love. My position on romance is coffee by me, je. You <laughs> let them use the romance to st- destroy my scatter. Life is tough. It's hard. <laughs> so what I don't need 24-7 is like, you know, deep. No, the romance. Let's, it, as in bring it. Ooh. Hey, hey, we shouldn't have had Bolu here. It's a manual, guys. Her. Bolu, Bolu. <laughs> Use Twitter to find her way into my my daughter's dance. Yeah. And honestly, she I'm very Twitter upset about the whole thing. <laughs> I'm very upset about the whole thing because that was like my. Do you know if you Google Bolu's name, you see, you see him. Uh, you see my Wikipedia page. I don't know how it was just an accident. I didn't even know how it, it was. I didn't expect to get that far. It was very funny. What's something that gives men like it doesn't mean anything, but it gives them a higher ranking? Mine is very Yoruba. It's is a it? Gold, is it chain. Thin gold the chain. chain. The gold chain oh my God. is so essential you know, to it. how good looking it. you are. Did you know I just love Did you it. watch Normal People? Yes. You know Connor? Yes, Connor has this chain. gold chain. If you go on Instagram, fake me, it has his own Instagram account. <laughs> It does nothing. It does everything. No, it doesn't do nothing. It doesn't do nothing. I'm like, I'm listening. It, it does a source. Everything. And it's also a special guy that can pull yeah. that off without a looking very tacky. Thin one. You know, and the thing is, you have to see it, but just slightly. Just like, like, just it like, flash, like I, just, I just need to see, like, your shirt yes. move, and then the chain is there, and I'm just like, mm. <laughs> it's like that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Not shouting about yeah. it. Oh, yeah. gosh, love I it. love it. Again, Bolu's book is called Love in Color. Buy it buy it you can get it on kindle it's kind of the same experience but not really yeah mm. um but it's a very very beautiful book um, it thanks, is guys thanks Lovely for having story. me yes. had a great time let yeah. us know if you break up with your person because of it <laughs> yeah. i like or that you decide to be with someone because, because of, of the book yeah, yeah. success stories yeah. too guys but also even if you break up with them it's a success, success story, story. you know yeah. you're looking for something it's also better, more entertaining okay. for me anyway <laughs>